I just got to Capri, Italy, and it is gorgeous. Ciao, Bellas, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Amy from Rebel Nutrition. We just came here from Positano. We took a ferry over. It took about 30 minutes, only like 20 euros. Pretty easy trip, but I have to say, immediate initial thoughts. I'm gonna say I like Capri better than Positano. Positano is obviously much more popular, but Capri is just, I mean, just wait. You're gonna get two room tours in this vlog. We are staying at the Caesar Augustus Hotel in Anna Capri, which is like kind of up on the hill in Capri out of like the main shopping area, but we're probably gonna go shopping as well because apparently it's like the Rodeo Drive of Italy. So <laughs> gotta check that out. But first, let me give you a room tour of the first room that we are staying in. We're staying in this room one night. There's Eric hiding in my room tour. Perfect selfie mirror, luggage, okay. So here is room number one. I love these beautiful grand windows and I love that they give you a welcome gift of cherries. Bathroom, pretty standard, but very nice. I love the marble. Beautiful window from the bathroom too, I might add. Nice little seating area right here. And then obviously the best part is the private balcony overlooking. Look at this infinity pool, you guys. So definitely gonna get lots of photos there tomorrow. And then the view, I mean, can you even? So like I said, we're staying in this room for one night. And the reason why we're switching rooms is that we actually cut our Positano trip one day short. I don't know why, and this is gonna sound like so high maintenance and annoying, but sometimes during our trip, like because we're, we're traveling for two months straight, like if I am just over a place, we're probably just gonna leave and like try and figure out something else. So <laughs> we left Positano one night early, not because I didn't like it. It was just a crazy busy, like kind of chaotic energy with the amount of tourists that were there. Eric's trying to be quiet and not disturb me as I'm talking. So we reached out to the hotel and asked him if we could book another night and we couldn't get another night at the original room that we booked because it's actually like a lot bigger, a bigger balcony, better view than this one, which I mean, I'm so excited to see. So we're starting out in this one, we're moving to that one tomorrow. So I'll give you guys a tour of that one tomorrow. And I can't wait to show you the grounds of this place. We just had lunch down at the restaurant here and it is just so beautiful. It's probably, I'm gonna say, here in Ravello and Tuscany so far in Italy are probably my favorite places. So if you haven't watched my other Italy vlogs, be sure to go back on my page, on my channel and find them and watch them because I'm giving tons of like good recommendations, room tours, all that fun stuff. And also if you're new here, be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. Now I think we are going to unpack a little bit and then we might take a taxi down to like the main part of Capri and do a little bit of shopping, but I'll let you guys know what I do. We are taking a taxi to go shopping. It's kind of crazy. All of the taxis here have like open windows. It kind of reminds me of Thailand with the tuk-tuks, but more safe feeling. Okay, so we are back at the hotel bar. Oh, and I've got some wine. We walked around Villa Camarel, which has all the really, really nice designer stores like Hermes, Chanel, Prada. And they also have some of the really like cutest cafes I've ever seen. The vibe down there was so cute. It really reminded me kind of of Paris. Like if you were visiting and you weren't as hot as I was in the street, you could get some really cute like Instagrammable shots there, do some really nice shopping. We only hung out down there for like an hour or so and then came back. I didn't really feel like buying anything and we kind of just wanted to hang out and enjoy the hotel. So tomorrow, we're probably just gonna hang out here tonight have a glass of wine and we might order room service and eat it on our balcony and watch the sunset since it's so pretty. But then tomorrow I will be getting a bunch of footage of the hotel to show you guys because it is absolutely epic. I don't know if video is even gonna do it justice, but we'll see. Okay, change of events. <laughs> I'm gonna insert some of the video clips we got in the pool because I changed into my bathing suit and we went and got in the pool because it's so epic and the sun is setting right now and the the light's just amazing, so I had to get in the pool and luckily Eric was down to take some photos of me while I was just looking like a goddess in the pool. Um, <laughs> but the pool actually closed at 7, which is kind of a bummer, But so they kicked me out. But I mean, just one more look at this. 
because it's insane. Room service with a view. We both got the lobster pasta and it looks so good. Good morning, you guys. So I just showed you some clips of the breakfast buffet here because it was pretty incredible. But we just checked into our second room. Like I said yesterday, we had to switch rooms because there was only like limited availability. And this one, oh my God, it might be like the nicest room I've ever stayed in or the nicest view. I mean, just hold on, wait for this room tour. Okay, so it might take a second for the exposure to get right, but look at this view. It's like almost a 360 view. So there's the bed. We've got a wrap around deck with the most amazing view. So we've got like the mountains and the ocean right here. I mean, I'm dead. I don't even want to leave this room. It's so epic. Oh my God, you guys, I just came into the bathroom for the first time and this tub even has a view. I'm dead, I'm dying. And just for reference, because I know probably some people are curious about this, this hotel, for how beautiful it is and how nice the room is, I think is actually a pretty good price. I think because Capri is not as touristy and popular as like Positano. I think a room like this in Positano, what do you think would be? I mean, first of all, this, I mean, the, this view doesn't even really exist in Positano as far as I know, it's just different. But I mean, I would say at least 5,000 a night. And this room was actually, I think about $2,500 a night. And the room we were in before last night was about 800 a night. So definitely because Capri is less touristy, I think you can get a bigger, nicer room for less expensive. Obviously this is still like not a cheap hotel. You could find hotels or Airbnbs in Capri for, for cheaper, but I am just so excited to like spend every waking moment looking out this window. Okay, you guys, I am so relaxed. It is the next afternoon. I actually, my camera died yesterday and then I, today I didn't really do anything. I went to the gym this morning. I got a little bit of work done. We're getting ready to walk into like the town of Anna Capri right now, but I just went to the spa and I'm gonna insert some clips right here because I just filmed it with my phone since my camera died, but it was so amazing. The spa room was like outdoors. I could hear the birds and the rain falling. It was so, so pretty. And they actually have an Ayurvedic spa here, which is kind of cool. So I did like the traditional oil massage and then the foot massage. And now I am so relaxed that I can't even think of words to say, so. <laughs> We're gonna walk into town and just try and maybe see what the dinner options are. We've just been doing like room service every night, which is really boring. But I mean, also, can you blame us? I mean, like that's the view. So obviously we've just been eating out on the porch for like every single meal. We'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Looking at the view one more time before we check out. Okay, we are about to check out, but honestly, I'm so sad to leave this view and it's so peaceful up here. I'm so glad. Initially, like we were only going to come to Capri for like the day from Positano, but then for some reason we decided to start with two days, then we ended up adding on a day and I'm so, so glad we did. It's like a less touristy option in Italy, but so much more peaceful. And if you're gonna come to Capri too, I would also recommend staying in Anna Capri, which is like away from the main town. It's up on the hill. It's how we have this like amazing view up here because if you stay down in Capri, there's more like, that's kind of what I showed you guys earlier in this vlog where like all of the designer stores are and things like that, but it's a lot busier. It's just so much more peaceful up here. And I definitely think it's worth coming for more than just a day tour. And you could also go, the Blue Grotto is like one of the main tourist attractions here. You could take a boat there. It's really, really beautiful. We didn't end up actually going since we already did a boat tour in Positano, but if we come back, that's something that I would definitely want to do. So next up on the itinerary today, we are getting ready to take a boat from Capri to Naples. And then from Naples, we are taking a train from Naples to Rome. And we're gonna stay in Rome for about three days. I have actually been to Rome a couple times before, so I'm not really needing to like go visit the touristy spots. I mean, we'll probably walk around a little bit, but we're kind of using our time in Rome to get some work done. Just like stay at the hotel and 
get as much work done in those three days as we can before we head to our next destination, which is Santorini, Greece. And the reason why I wanna get a bunch of work done before that is because I don't think I'm gonna be getting any work done in Santorini, because it's kind of like the same epic view as this. Obviously it's Greece, so it's a little bit different, but I don't think I'm gonna be vlogging in Rome, so make sure you hit the red subscribe button so that the next time I post a video, it's going to be from Santorini, and I can't wait to show you guys because it is freaking epic there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye.